Hi everyone, my name is Patrick, and in this video, we're going to talk about navigating Tested Ontario's 2021 virtual conference. By now, you should have registered for the conference, and you should have received some registration information in your email. Let's talk about some tips and tricks when using Tested Ontario's 2021 virtual conference platform, Feedloop. So first things first, Let's focus on troubleshooting. Upon receiving your email with the registration information, you'll notice that the password is made of several random alphanumeric characters. When copying and pasting your password, make sure you don't copy the space between the colon at the start of your password. If you keep getting an error and you think you're entering everything correctly, make sure you haven't included that blank space which is acting like a character in your password. Also, once you've entered your password once, I would strongly suggest that you save your username and password. This way, you don't have to keep re-entering your information each time. Doing this will definitely save you some hassle, as Feedloop is web-based. It works with most commonly used modern browsers, but it really is best suited for Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So, if you notice that a feature doesn't seem to be working as you would expect, switch and try a different browser. If you join the presentation and clicked Connect Audio, but you cannot hear anything, the next step would be to check your volume. Make sure that your volume isn't muted on your device. If that didn't help, go to your sound settings. This makes sure that your output device is correct. By doing this, you're checking to see where the audio is coming out of. This will show you whether you may have left your headphones plugged in or maybe you have your audio coming out of somewhere else. If the video is not present, this is probably linked to your internet connection. So check your connection or move closer to your router. If you are using Wi-Fi, you can also plug your computer to your router via an ethernet cable. This can also help strengthen your internet connection. Now we're going to focus on how to create your own personalized schedule. There's a neat feature that you can use to personalize your conference specifically for you on the sessions page. All the sessions for the entire conference are listed here. This can seem like a lot to scroll through. There are a few things that you can do if this is overwhelming. You can use a search feature if you know the name or the presentation you wish to attend and filter sessions out this way. Or you can actually make a personalized schedule to make the conference experience a little bit less overwhelming. On the top left-hand side of each session, you'll see a little plus sign. You can click this and it'll turn into a check mark. This means that it's been added to your schedule. Go through the list and add all your sessions. Once finished, you can go to the filter button and click on the first option to filter by personal schedule. As you can see, all the sessions you have added are here. Now, just an important reminder, if you leave your presentation screen, you will leave the entire presentation. Getting back to the session is very easy. First, Click back into Sessions. Second, click on the presentation that you want to join. Third, click on Join Audio, and now you're ready to attend that session. However, it's important to remember that the presentation is live. So when you leave, you are missing what the presenter is saying, just like if you were in a face-to-face -face conference and you left the room. You can always come back, but you will have missed what the presenter has said. Let's talk about the best ways to network. In order to get the most out of networking, it's a good idea to tell people who you are and make yourself recognizable. On the accounts page, you can modify your password to something a little bit more memorable. You're also able to personalize your profile. You can add your profile image so other attendees can recognize you. You can add a description to tell other attendees what you're interested in and where your focus lies. 
You can also add your website, Twitter handle, and your LinkedIn profile. Finally, you can add any documents you'd like to share. You even have the option to modify the privacy of your account by making your account invisible in the networking tab. Once you have your profile set up, you are now ready to set up private chats with attendees and have video calls with attendees in the networking tab. Finally, this is a good time to remind everyone about etiquette at this conference. In many areas on this platform, there are opportunities to chat with others publicly. This means that anything you post can be seen by everyone, even if you leave. So, just remember to be respectful with your comments. So this about sums up all the tips and tricks that you need to know when you navigate Tesla Ontario's 2021 virtual conference. Although different than most years, use this opportunity to experiment, explore, and enjoy this conference. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to connect with you all at the conference.